free shit, you know what I mean? I'll ever be like, ever feel really in Toronto, where it's like, there's two pro skaters or something that live in Toronto, so I, I just wasn't surrounded by it. If I'm with like a bunch of pros now, I'm in LA or something, like I feel so uncomfortable being surrounded by that just because it's, I'm so not used to it. Right. I'm kind of used to it. Our outreach, like, we like changed skating entirely from what we brought to it, so it's like, I was prepared for all of that, like, you know, the mockery and then like everybody in skating changing their style to look like us. We flipped skating on its back and created a whole new lens. It was cute. I was like, you know, it was nice to see people finally sh sh give it the respect and love that it deserved, you know what I mean? The skating skating. Bobby DeKaiser, Toronto, Canada. <laughs> well. Sage, El Cesar, I'm from Los Angeles, California. You know, especially with the kids, it's like, I remember being that same kid, seeing pros and like, saying what's up, asking for a board, and they were just like, always cool guy. And so it's like, if I, by my crib in Brooklyn, if I hear kids skate by, like, I want to give them a board. Give yeah, give it back. Because, dude, I was literally that kid. That shit sucked, like, you know, my mom didn't have money like that, so like, asking for a fucking $50 board and $75 shoes every three weeks, you know, especially when you're skating every day, you're a kid and you're bored, like, you just don't know how to respect your board. <laughs> this shit just ends up looking jacked. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we just started the whole project together when we were rooming on a trip, and we were just, like, both together interested in, like, looking at, like, vintage Converse or, like, sneakers in general, and we would just talk about shoes, and I had a bunch saved on my phone, Sage already had, like, some that he had saved, I mean, so that's how, like, the whole thing kind of started, and so we were kind of just like, fuck, like, we need to, we need to make these shoes, we can make, like, make them really sick. Yo, I tell you, you can ask, you can ask any skateboarder, there's nothing more gratifying than looking down at your board, and, like, your board is good, and your shoes are good, it's like, you know, you skate better. Going outside of skating into, like, a restaurant, or going into, like, anywhere, and just, like, wearing my skate shoes, like, I hate that feeling. You know what's different, though, is just, like, you want your shit separate. It's like, I, you know them same people that don't want, they don't want they, their mac and cheese touching their yams. And like, I'm not even trying to be fucking, I am that person, so it's all right. But it's like, though, like energy wise, a lot of energy comes out of your feet. Especially if you're like, just shedding so much emotion, trying to trick, like, you need to get them clothes off and you need to change your shoes that you just worked in all day. Cause you're like thinking differently. You know, that's what I was talking about wanting to wear suits. If you're wearing a suit, your crib can't be dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. crib can't be dirty, your shower can't be dirty. Your towel has to be clean every day. It can't be that same towel you done used for three days. Dirty ass, like, bro. <laughs> it all comes together. Yeah, it all, like,